here is a Sylvania traffic signal clear light bulb lampy clear ah sig signal city one I don't know what language it is it's a 69 watts bulb at 130 volts that might actually be somewhere around 60 watts if we drop it down to 120 which is kind of funny because the reason I bought this is in hopes that maybe this is perfectly good for general illumination in a lamp. This is a basic incandescent bulb uh, which is intended to be used in traffic lights but it's a basic uh, E26 base compared to a regular light bulb. It's a little bit wider but it's about as tall so it's gonna fit in most light fixtures just fine. I'm a little bit concerned about this now because this brand DEL Vance and Sylvania is the same thing that we got um, Oh no, I thought for some reason I thought for some reason that this one was also branded DEL Vance. But now I'm not seeing that. I guess that was just a figment of my imagination. No, it was not a figment of my imagination. There it is. DEL Vance. This thing blows. This is the worst light bulb I've ever tested. I have no idea what's wrong with this. It's just so dim and pathetic. Um, I really hope that this is not the same way. Um, I'm hoping that because this is like a commercial product, which I guess technically would be for, sold for government use if it's a traffic light, it's got to be a government owned product. I would hope that this bulb is, is held to higher quality standards and actually is going to produce a reasonable amount of light for the amount of power it consumes. Is whoops. It claims to, to output 640 lumens, which is kind of low, um, but not crazy low. I, mean, it's, I would say a regular 60 watt bulb can be anywhere from, let's say, 600 to 890 or almost 900. It, it, it's, there's a really wide scale. Do we still have those charts? I printed out a bunch of charts that show that. Uh, yeah, here they are. So, according to this chart, um, and this one says a 60 watt bulb can be anywhere from 500 to 850 lumens. This one says 750 to 940. And you can find a chart that you know, says almost anything you want. So, you know, that's one of the problems with measuring light with measurements that don't capture light. You know, watts is the measurement of power, not light. So it kind of creates a problem with with um, expectations of a light bulb. Anyways, this claims to last 8,000 hours operating at 130 volts. So if we operate at 120 volts, I think this claim that the lifespan will double. Uh, I don't really trust anything that says because <laughs> Uh, after seeing the way it performs, but according to this, it, it lasts um, 1.8 years at 130 volts versus 4.6 years at 120 volts. So that's um, more than double. But then on the front it says 2,000 versus 4,000, which is different than that. So who the heck knows? But either way, it will last considerably longer running at. Uh, 120 volts versus 130. These are still under production. They're exempt from the bulb ban and you can get them in quite a few different wattages including uh, I think 130 watts is another fairly common size. This one being 69 watts I suspect will be uh, similar to a 60 watt bulb which you can't buy anymore. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we got here. We're testing at um, actually, let's bypass this dimmer thing first. We're testing at 119.3 the volts. Here we go. Okay, so that is consuming 
60 watts on the nose. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So this is a 60 watt light bulb, more or less. And let's see here. Amperage is 0.5. Power factor is 1. As would be expected. Um, okay. So. I think that these are filled with something other than... They're like Krypton or something in there. This stupid box doesn't say, but I, I think that it's not a standard like vacuum. I, I think that there's something in there. The filament is supported by one, two, three, four, looks like six posts. It's supposed to be very durable, which makes sense because in the traffic lights can shake around in the wind. Wind dance, ooh. Um, yeah, okay. Quality of light is perfect. It's exactly what you would expect from an incandescent. It's a nice, uh, pleasant, warm color. The color rendering is correct. Got our screwdrivers here. Reasonable color rendering. No glare, no flicker. That's what the filament looks like. I'll dim it down and we'll get a better picture of the filament that way. Alright, let's hook it up to the dimmer. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't dim properly, but I want to test it before I order any more of them. Okay, it seems to dim just fine. I hear a very, very slight buzzing noise from the filament, which is kind of normal. Um, oh, that's interesting. Huh. You know, I suspect that this would actually achieve some seriously high hours used dimmed because the filament looks like a very, very thick gauge. You know, usually it's like a really small spring-like uh, configuration, but that looks like a solid piece of metal. Yeah, to me that looks like a solid piece of metal. Very interesting. Somehow this is still drawing 0.7 watts. Um, That's 10 watts. Well, I think that this light bulb is fantastic. What does it say on the top here? It says... It says, Traffic, 69 watts, Sylvania, 0143214, 8,000 hours, 130 volts, 640 lumens, Base down or horiz. So, um, allegedly, this should not be used in something like a ceiling fan where the base would be up. And I guess the reasoning for that, which I've been told, is that some kind of it's some kind of issue where the the adhesive in the base is not able to withstand the additional heat from the base being at the top versus at the bottom. And I guess in a traffic light. It would never be an issue because <sighs> I, I'm pretty sure that the bulb is probably screwed horizontal in traffic light, I would think. I don't know. Very interesting. Let me turn off the other lights here so we can get an idea of the brightness.
Yeah, that's that's about that's about right. It's it's on the dimmer side for a sixty watts, but um, yeah, it's it's reasonable. Of course, the camera has uh, automatic exposure, which makes it look brighter than it really is. Um, according to this chart here, a forty watts bulb can be zero to 450 lumens which is stupid because a 40 watts bulb cannot be zero lumens um, the other chart says 465 to 600 so according to the other chart this is more like a 40 watts bulb so I guess we could say it's like a really bright 40 watts bulb or a really dim 60 watts bulb actually it's making a little bit of noise probably because of the way I have it plugged into this dimmer thing Inherently, oh that's great, I can't see anything now. Um, inherently incandescent bulbs do tend to make a little bit of a buzzing sound when used on dimmers. Yeah, it's silent now. That's also not a very, that's not a very clean dimmer. That's meant for a stinking soldering iron. I don't, I don't hear anything anymore now. No, oh that's nice and warm. No, I plug directly into the power, I don't hear anything. Well, so these bulbs cost, um, this cost about $6, and um, considering that it's supposed to last 8,000 hours, which it'll last even longer running at 120, that's pretty cheap, um, relatively speaking. You know, a lot of bulbs that cost a dollar or two a couple years ago were only good for 1,000 hours. Well, this is great. I am so glad someone suggested this because I think that this is a good answer. Um, I'm going to order more of these in a couple of different wattages and put them in my lamps because um, I don't want to use LED. I want to use incandescent. I like the quality of light of incandescent. It doesn't give me a headache and it's just great light and um, it's it's becoming very hard to find certain kinds and uh, anything above 40 watts is pretty much non-existent now I do have a decent stock of, of it on hand but I like to avoid dipping into my stock until I absolutely have to because once that stock is gone it's gone um, so if I can buy bulbs like this for the next whoever knows how many years that they'll be around I'll do it um, <laughs> quite possibly these I mean, this this bulb should should last probably decades in some of my lamps.